a question uh, prospectively, where do you see us heading 10 years from now? How would I put this? This is the optimistic part. I think if we go back to the tradition of accounting that I come from, we have a huge wealth of positive examples of action figures. We have the Tony Tinkers of the world. We have Cheryl Lehman. We have David Cooper. We have Prem Sika. A huge number of people who have tried to intervene in the public sphere to make the world a better place. Whether they had a vision of what they thought a better world would look like. And they attempted to intervene. And so we have this tradition of action figures, as I would call them. Uh, if you look up action figures online, you'll see these Foucault dolls and Benjamin dolls and Adorno dolls and whoever, whatever dolls. But for me, the action figure is simply this notion that we need to act, that we need to sit at our desk and write things, but we also have to engage with the world with the purpose of making the world a better place. And this is my optimism. I hope that we see more of that in the future, that we do more of that. Great. Paolo. Yeah, I think this, uh, although it's a question mark, is optimist too. Um, so I do see uh, both scholarship and profession uh, in a kind of crisis of legitimacy. Um, but it is only if we do engage with uh, with you know problems which are beyond our little garden that we can regain that kind of uh, legitimacy and, uh, and relevance. Um, it will require, though, a different uh, approach, maybe. Um, and also, there is one uh, one one issue there. I remember. When I was at Oxford, there was a conference uh, that was called Thus STS, Science and Technology Studies Mean Business. And it was organized by Steve Wooger, who at that time was a professor of Science and Technology Studies in the business school, uh, something that was uh, very uh, heterodox. Um, but I do remember a comment from, I think, Mike Lynch, uh, who said, Oh, okay, so you are now turning STS into business, but have you solved the problem of STS first? So, um, and I think that we, we do run that, that problem too. Uh, so we can become relevant if we actually address the problems that we have identified first, rather than just going out and criticize without having a solution that would actually, you know, at least attract interest and engage. I look forward to your comments uh, when we start talking more about how we can kind of shape or uh, what we can do. Okay. Roger. So uh, this is from uh, the foyer of a Paris cinema. And uh, it says, uh, for, for France, you know, I did my pour your pour your gold, uh, the, the gold combats, uh, struggles for the victory. Um, and uh, so, and of course this is a German soldier being crushed, Austrian soldier I guess, I don't know, uh, being crushed by French coinage. So uh, for me this was um, very much about um, the, the question of the relationship of power and value, okay? So um, not just the relationship between power and money, which I, I think is absolutely essential to thinking about uh, in terms of future accounting research from IMF standards to this criterion of uh, what do they call it translucence, trans, trans, transparency. Yeah, transparency. It's like it's like after you, you love transparency. It's like a mystical concept. It's like the virgin birth. Um, it's uh, uh, fr you know the so the whole relationship between power and uh, a monetary value is in itself important, but 
the relationship between the more general question of the relationship between power and value and the way in which value is partly constitutive of power and the way in which power is constitutive of value. And this co-constitution, I think, is one of the big theoretical problems that transcends all of the social science disciplines. And 10 years from now, you see, it seems. Is that for, to what happens 10 years from now? Yes. Oh, yes, 10 years from now. So we'll, my, my fantasy is that we'll be able to better address that. Um, it's going to require much more sort of systematic, temporal, cross temporal work. Great. Jessa, you bring us home. I don't know if I can bring us home. Um, <laughs> so, you know, I spoke earlier about so, yeah, practice, uh, accounting practice and accounting research. We have a positivist view and critical view. If we can combine these, you know, if we can be more inclusive, if, if we can um, use the theories that are developed with data and, and, and speak to issues that are relevant to practice. So that's a, a dream and a fantasy as well, I think. But that, that's what I was going for with the picture. And so we have kind of both worlds together here. Open, yeah. merge together in one, yeah, working yeah. and communicating together, yeah. That'd be great.